Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad. When Sherry John Brown come for you? Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You here for hot tea? All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. It's a lot I want to talk about with you all today, but I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet. First, I'm gonna start off by saying I'm gonna try to go live at 4 p.m. tonight. The weather is a little rocky, and the connection here is bad, so I don't know yet. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. And like I said in my last video, I knew I seen Slarion walk around with this outfit on, but I just couldn't remember where I saw it at but y'all remembered and y'all let me know in the comment section real quick that that was the outfit that she had on in the garage taking pictures on her iPhone or I'm sorry not her iPhone her friend iPhone like y'all Slarion still haven't even mastered taking $150 to go hire a photographer y'all $150 for a photographer she is in somebody's garage taking iPhone photos and then gonna pop up with that same outfit that she had on um, at this dang gone, I guess, divorce party. And can we talk about how Scrappy is a lame loser dude to be throwing a divorce party? But the whole reason why you and your ex-wife have the issues that y'all have is because you always behind on paying rent. Like she said, you don't pay your rent. But you just had to let it be known that you be paying your rent, you just pay it late. Like he put emphasis on paying it late. So when you be paying your rent late today because of this party, I'm just trying to know. Y'all are also under the impression that this broad managed to film for love and hip-hop and i just don't see that happening but even if that do happen it's literally hilarious because those love and hip-hop ladies like melody like i even think sierra from love and hip-hop follows me and do y'all remember that one episode when they beat that girl up for walking around saying that she was a side chick or she was a mistress and she was proud oh yeah okay but this is not why we're here let's talk about the scam and snots don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you are up to date each and every time that i upload we truly look t squad i truly appreciate y'all y'all always hold it down t squad i'm gonna need for y'all to hold it down in these comments today like y'all been holding it down in the comments any other time or that's what she say it's only about one or two of y'all that come over here trolling me and i be getting y'all hoes together every single time like i ain't even as a matter of fact i haven't seen y'all in a while no big wig come over here religiously but, but it's one buck mouth hoe that i've been waiting to come back so i can blast this hoe all on my screen because you didn't think nobody knew you girl and it's been about a, it's been about two three months since i seen you over here since that girl went to school with you the girl who went to school with you revealed that she went to school with you and i got all your information so i've really been waiting on you i've been seeing you on other content creators comments though and it's been taking everything in me not to bite down like them raggedy ass teeth in your mouth but I'm going to hold off. I'm waiting on you though, love. I'm waiting on you so hard. Everybody has been wanting me to talk about the exclusive T Anthony Lofty's revealed on his channel. Now, I believe he's supposed to be doing a part two sometime soon or part three. I'm not sure. I'm... I haven't really been keeping up with the snots. I'm not going to lie because I'm pro millimeter, right? So I keep up with the star of the show, not the extras. I only keep up with the extras when they think they finna play in my good sis face. Also, Letitia annoys the shit out of me. It's just so hard for me to even try to be a decent person to her. Because she try to act so slow, but she is actually manipulative just like that man that she sleep in the bed with. She's very passive and micro aggressive behind that nasty, lazy man she be sleeping in the bed with that don't mean her no good. That's always embarrassing her and making her look stupid as hell but hey that's her hubby baby if she like it i love it but remember when they had the black lounge and they wanted all of y'all to pay for the seats and all of that stuff like literally some of those seats was like thousands of dollars 
who was going to trust them with thousands of dollars? For them to turn around and literally cancel it the day before. What if people purchased tickets, got their um, hair done, bought dresses, outfits, stylists, makeup artists, then what? So I've been telling y'all about these hoes, but I am really not shocked at the new things that has come out about them. So there's a young man who came out about Letitia and Marceau Snot. Apparently a while ago, he won a lawsuit behind malpractice with his baby that he was having at the time he invested that money to start a business and basically Marceau and Letitia stole the money from him these people created a contract there is a contract however these people seemingly have voided the contract based on some of the allegations so apparently this man paid Letitia and Marceau a five thousand dollar deposit and twenty thousand dollars for the build out for his barber shop now the property that we are talking about is the property that Marceau and Courtney filmed in y'all this season when it was construction so the episode where Marceau and Courtney met up at and they were speaking apparently that was the location that this man is speaking of apparently there is a recording out about this and it's Marceau basically saying that everything he does is contingent upon the things that the other man does so basically the in my opinion, I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but I don't know what more the man was supposed to do other than pay him. So Marceau does a lot of wordplay. It's, I'm under the impression that he's trying to make it seem like the man is missing payment or something like that, which is why he hasn't been able to do what he needed to do. I don't know. That's just how I'm reading it based on the fake ass wordplay that Marceau likes to use. Because he would flip something on you and gaslight you in 3.5 seconds. I think he believes everyone is as stupid as his wife. Now, basically all of this started because Marceau and Letitia wanted a recording that he had of Kiki and the man wouldn't give him the recording. So there is a video of Letitia's voice and you hear the man basically saying he would get a new contractor if they are on hold because for whatever reason they cannot finish or complete any projects they will take people money they won't even purchase the things that they're supposed to be purchasing to create these things that they're supposed to be creating they'll do a quick video walking through it but we never ever see anything complete and to make matters worse allegedly because of this Letitia and Marcel so wouldn't allow the new contractors that the man hired into the building they wouldn't give him the keys and also the man asked these people these frauds these scammers these snots for receipts for the materials that they spent the money on and they didn't even give the man the receipts now what's even more worse about the situation is the rent was supposed to start july the first but they terminated this man's lease on june the 15th and i heard this story this aggravated me so bad I just had to speak about it because all I hear is Letitia ugly ass voice trying to manipulate male and in, in saying, oh, it's for the community. It's for the community. It's for the community. Oh, but this is for the community. The community need us to come together. The community want us to come together. Yet these people really out here scamming the community. Oh, but I bet y'all thought I was done. I bet y'all wish I was done. No. Miss MBA, I don't know how many degrees Letitia. Miss, the shipping information was a mistake. Miss Black Business Mom Espo. Miss Scott Reality versus Scott Realty, because y'all remember that one? Um, posted this damn flyer with her kids talking about real lunch. What are we talking about, love? And so, and this is July the 22nd. Baby, this today, she having a real lunch today at 5 p.m. A real lunch, y'all. Letitia is having a real lunch, okay? And shout out to the person that said Letitia was in there looking like a linebacker. There was some comment that I read on Talk With Slanya talking about, oh, she in there looking like a linebacker. So I just had to screenshot this photo right here because her and her nasty ass husband think they be eating and they don't. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this. These scam and snots are out of control and they are really deplorable. They want to play on the heart screens of the community, but they are the main ones scamming the community. Yeah, I pull up Roto Winner, honey. I pull up Roto Winner, honey. Oh, 